Hello, my friend. Today we are talking about the present perfect. Now, the present perfect format in the affirmative, we have the subject, have or has, and the past participle. The past participle is also called the third column verb, verbo da tercera coluna. For example, you have done the homework. What is this in Portuguese? You have done the homework. We'll say tem feito, the homework, yes. Now, in the negative, we have subject, haven't or hasn't, and the past participle. For example, you haven't done your homework. In Portuguese, we'll say no tem feito. And with the yes or no question, we put have or has in the start. Have you done your homework? Now, we use have with I, you, we, and they. We use has with the third person singular, he, she, or it. All right, now, these are regular past participles. They don't change in the third column. I say, you repeat, wanted, needed, liked, worked, listened, played, loved, cooked. Very good. These are some more regular past participles. Again, they don't change in the third column. I say, you repeat, stopped, visited, cleaned, washed, tried, made, had, heard. Very good. All right. Now, these are some irregulars. They change in the third column. I say, you repeat, been, seen, done, gone, eaten, given, ridden. Very good. Now, what is been in Portuguese? Been is sido or estado. What is seen in Portuguese? Seen is visto. Done is... Feito. Gone is ido. What is given in Portuguese? Given is dado. All right, now we often, but not always, use contractions with the present perfect, specifically with the pronoun and have or has. I say, you repeat, I've, you've, she's, He's, we've, they've. Very good. All right, now, short answers, hispostas cortas. We often respond to yes or no questions with the present perfect with short answers. Now, this is the short answer. Yes, I have, no, I haven't. Uh, for questions with I, you, we, they, and in the third person singular, remember with she, he, or it, we use has or hasn't. I say, you repeat, have you played baseball? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Has she played baseball? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Very good. All right, now, already and yet. We often use already in present perfect affirmatives. For example, she has already seen Aladdin. Now, already here is já in Portuguese. Ela já tem visto, ela já tem assistido. Now, yet. We often use yet in present perfect negatives and questions. For example, she hasn't seen Aladdin yet. Now, this yet is like an ainda in Portuguese. Or in Portuguese, ela ainda no tem visto or no tem assistido Aladdin. Now, we also use yet in questions in the present perfect. For example, has she seen Aladdin yet? Now, this yet in the question is like a já in Portuguese. Has she seen Aladdin yet? Ela já tem visto, tem assistido Aladdin. All right, now, ever. We often use ever in present perfect questions. Now, ever means in your entire life, na sua vida inteira. For example, have you ever, você tem uma vez, você tem na sua vida, 
watched a really scary movie. Tem assistido um filme muito assustadora. All right. Now, present perfect versus the simple past. Now, here I have the simple present. I listened to Bob Marley. It was Scuto a Bob Marley. Now, simple past. This is for a specific event or a specific action in the past. We use the simple past. Specific. For example, I listened to Bob Marley last night. This is specific. It's last night. It was school day a Bob Marley last night. Now, present perfect. This is for the not specific past. It's not specific. It's not about a specific event in the past. For example, I have listened to Bob Marley many times. Eu tenho escutado a Bob Marley muitas vezes. It's not specific. Simple past is specific. Present perfect is not specific. All right, for and since. We often use for and since when talking about past events. Now, for we use with time quantities. I have played basketball for 10 years in Portuguese. Por dez años. 10 years is a time quantity. Or, Maria has worked for 11 hours. Por once horas. 11 hours is a time quantity. For is like a por in Portuguese. Since we use with specific times. For example, I have played basketball since 2011. 2011 is not a time quantity. It's a specific time. Since is like a des day in Portuguese. Desde 2011. Or, Maria has worked since 9 a.m. Desde 9 horas de manhã. 9 a.m. is not a time quantity, it's a specific time. So again, for is poor, since is desde. And just. We use just with the present perfect to show an action happened extremely recently. Now, we use just between have or has and the past participle. In Portuguese, this just is like an acabar day. For example, I've just seen a dolphin. This would be like, eu acabei de ver a dolphin. Or, she has just arrived to work. Ela acabei, acabou de chegar to work. Or, they've just finished work. Elas acabaram de terminar work, a servicio. Okay, so just is like acabar de. All right, now vocabulary. Come back. Come back is a synonym with return. I miss you. Please come back. Please return. I am alone. Not really. Look around. Look around means to look in all different directions. Olhar por todos os lados. Look around. Ojedor. Make sure. Make sure is to be certain of something. For example, the teacher says, make sure you be you do your homework. Make sure. Make sure is ter certeza. Make sure. Tenha certeza. Find out. Find out is a synonym with discover. Find out. Take off. When an airplane leaves the ground, it takes off. Take off. Take off in Portuguese, decolar. Give up. When you quit, you give up. This means to end to end something without finishing. For example, it's, here it says never give up. Give up in Portuguese desistir. Look out. Look out is a synonym with be careful. Look out. Be careful in Portuguese. Toma cuidado. Seja cuidadosa. Look forward to. Look forward to is to think about a future event with anticipation. For example, here she says, I'm in high school, but I'm looking forward to college. Look forward to antecipar in Portuguese. How long? We use how long for questions of duration. For example, she says, how long was your vacation? He says, one week. How long? Por quanto tempo? How long? They are rafting. Rafting is a sport. I don't know what rafting is in Portuguese, but this is rafting. They are ballooning. I don't know what ballooning is in Portuguese, but they are ballooning. And they are sailing. I don't know what sailing are in Portuguese, what sailing is in Portuguese, but sailing is a sport and they are sailing. All right, that's it my friends. Have a good day. Bye-bye.